Tyson Fury is widely regarded as one of the most accomplished heavyweight boxers in recent times. He holds an undefeated record as a two-time heavyweight boxing champion of the world and is recognized as the lineal heavyweight champion. He is widely acknowledged as the top active heavyweight boxer globally. Beyond his remarkable achievements in the ring, Fury's journey is also marked by his resilience in overcoming significant challenges, including battles with depression, alcoholism, and drug addiction. Tyson Fury is a world-class professional boxer whose inspiring comeback story can teach us, guide us, and benefit us in unimaginable ways. My hope is that his story can inspire you to bounce back from whatever challenges you may be facing. So, without wasting your time, let's dive in. Tyson Fury's journey began in Manchester, England, in 1988. He was born into a proud gypsy family with a rich heritage of bare-knuckle prizefighting. However, his first remarkable comeback story can be traced back to his challenging start in life. Born three months prematurely, Tyson Fury entered the world weighing only one LB, and doctors held little hope for his survival. Despite the odds stacked against him, his father recognized his fighting spirit and remained confident that he would defy the doctor's predictions and emerge victorious. In fact, his father decided to name him Tyson after the heavyweight champion boxer at the time, Iron Mike Tyson, because of the fight he saw in his son. He knew his son was going to be a fighter in every sense of the word. His father even went so far as to tell the doctors that Tyson would grow to be seven feet tall and would become the heavyweight boxing champion of the world. From a long bloodline of fighters, Tyson was trained and molded from an early age into the boxer you see today. As fate would have it, Tyson pulled through and eventually grew taller than most of his peers. At age 10, he began boxing more formally, with his father never far away from his side. He started dabbling in the sport of boxing. Then just a year later, at the age of 11, he left school to help his father make money doing various labor-intensive jobs. And at the age of 14, he was very tall, already standing at 6'5 tall. When you see him with his peers, it's very easy to identify him. During the early stages of his career, Tyson Fury established himself as a formidable contender both inside and outside the boxing ring. While his friends, relatives, and family members indulged in leisure activities and alcohol, Tyson dedicated himself to his training. He consistently prioritized his time in the gym, diligently working to enhance his abilities and refine his skills. This unwavering commitment and extra effort contributed to his growth as a boxer and helped shape his reputation as a dedicated and disciplined athlete. Tyson Fury's presence inside the ring was undeniably imposing, thanks to his impressive physical stature. However, his agility and speed in movement made him even more formidable. His commitment to training was evident, as he consistently arrived at the gym before anyone else and stayed until the very end. This dedication played a significant role in his eventual rise to dominance in the sport. As an amateur boxer, Fury achieved notable success, winning the bronze medal in the AIBA Youth World Boxing Championships at the age of 18. Just two years later, he secured the ABBA Super Heavyweight title, further solidifying his talent and potential. It didn't take long for him to soar towards international amateur level, winning different championships and awards, before turning pro later that year. At the age of 20, standing at an impressive height of 6'9". He made his professional boxing debut in December 2006. In his first fight, he showcased his dominance by securing a TKO victory in the first round. In December 2008, Tyson Fury entered the pro ranks with a first-round TKO win against Hungarian Bela John Giosi. Fury is unorthodox style both in terms of technique, range, and character was grabbing the attention of the world, Following several more professional bouts, Fury eventually earned the opportunity to compete for the British heavyweight title against John McDermott. Despite some controversy surrounding their initial encounter, Fury emerged victorious by points decision, claiming the belt. To address any doubts, Fury faced McDermott once again and delivered an even more punishing performance, successfully defending his title. Tyson went on to win fight after fight, defending his belts while collecting various other titles and champions belts along the way. He eventually became the number one challenger in the world, 
winning several prestigious heavyweight titles. 2015 was the year that Tyson's life took a turn that the boxing world were not expecting. He traveled to Dusseldorf, focused and confident, with Team Fury in no doubt that this was Tyson's moment to dethrone the 11-year unbeaten Vladimir Klitschko. He defeated his childhood hero Vladimir, which led to him becoming the undisputed heavyweight boxing champion of the world. After fighting and winning against two more opponents, Tyson Fury started to lose his fire. Tyson met his ultimate opponent. Despite his power within the ring, this new opponent wasn't as easy to defeat as the ones he grew accustomed to in the boxing ring. Soon after his major victory against Klitschko, Tyson Fury stopped training, loses focus, and fell into depression. At the same time, he also began partying, drinking, and doing drugs. He lost the will and motivation to fight. He gained weight, and his life began to go downward fast. Unfortunately, Tyson Fury was stripped of his belts because of a rematch clause that he wasn't able to fulfill against Klitschko due to his battle with mental health. At some point he felt like taking his life because he was so depressed. After going through mental breakdown, he became committed to getting his life back and to getting back into fighting shape so he could prove to himself and the world that he was the greatest heavyweight boxing champion alive. In 2017, Fury accepted that things needed to change. He decided enough was enough, and, with the help of his wife, his family, and the help of God, Tyson began his comeback. His inspirational story, his openness and vulnerability about mental health, caught the hearts and minds of people from all corners of the earth. With only six months of training, Tyson Fury mount his comeback. He kicked all of his addictions, lost weight, and transformed himself back into the boxing legend that he was born to be. In 2019, Tyson Fury made a remarkable comeback to the boxing ring. Following two relatively easy victories, he was given the opportunity to face Deontay Wilder, whose dominant performances had initially inspired Fury's return to the spotlight. Their first encounter ended in a draw, prompting a second fight to determine the undisputed heavyweight champion. After Fury fought and defeated two more opponents, he faced Wilder in a highly anticipated rematch. The second fight proved to be as intense as the first, but Fury emerged victorious when Wilder's corner threw in the towel in the 12th round. This marked a significant turning point in Fury's comeback story. Subsequently, a third fight was agreed upon after Wilder exercised a clause in his contract. The third fight, which took place on October 9, 2021, became one of the most memorable bouts in heavyweight boxing history. Lasting 11 grueling rounds, Fury, despite being knocked down multiple times, ultimately secured victory with a knockout in the 11th round. This climactic moment solidified Fury's remarkable journey and further cemented his place in boxing history. Tyson Fury achieved what he set out to do when he decided to make his comeback. He proved to himself and the world that he was the number one heavyweight boxing champion of the world and the king of boxing. Tyson has since successfully defended his title two additional times, with his most recent win being against Derek Kisora on October 20, 2022. On the 28th of October, Fury landed a split decision victory over Ganu on Saturday night in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia in a fight closer than many expected. The MMA legend did not look out of place as he took on the WBC heavyweight champion in the ring, even downing Fury in the third round. And Ganu showed he still had plenty of gas left in the tank with seconds to go when he went for an outrageous Superman punch in the 10th round. But at the end, Tyson Fury won by split decision. Let me know what you feel about Tyson's Fury career journey in the comment section.